This video highlights some of the new and updated features of Brightspace Learning Environment 10.7.10. Instructors can now attach videos to activity feed posts that render directly in the feed. To add a video to an activity feed post, click Attach Video from Web. Enter the URL for a video from YouTube, Vimeo, or TED Video Communities. You can attach videos from any other website, but they won't be rendered in line. When you are ready, click Save. Then, click Post. Now, when you create or edit a navbar using the Brightspace Daylight Experience, only applicable fields display. If you will continue using the Brightspace Daylight Experience, turn on the new D2L System Brightspace Daylight Suppress Warnings config variable, which suppresses warnings that appear when users make changes that could impact non-daylight features. There is a new option to edit the navbar title regardless of the theme you are using. Titles continue to be hidden at the org level in favor of a logo-based design. At all other org unit levels, you can customize titles regardless of the theme. Note, if you do not want a title to appear for an org unit, such as a department or school, you must set the title to display as none. You can turn on the D2L, Tools, My Courses widget, Updated Sort Logic, Configuration Variable to opt in to the new Sort Display logic for the My Courses widget. Pinned courses now have a visible pin icon on the course title. Newly pinned courses are added to the bottom of the pinned list. If there are less than 50 total enrollments, the widget shows manually pinned courses, followed by current enrollments, then future enrollments if they are available or visible to the user, for a total of 12 enrollments. If there are more than 50 total enrollments, the widget shows manually pinned courses, followed by up to 12 last accessed courses. In either case, more than 12 courses might appear in the widget if they are all manually pinned. When viewing all courses, or the course selector, if there are less than 50 total enrollments, the default sort shows manually pinned courses, followed by current enrollments, then future enrollments if they are available and visible to the user, and, finally, past enrollments if they are visible to the user. If there are more than 50 total enrollments, the sort order shows manually pinned courses, followed by up to 12 last accessed courses, followed by all remaining courses available or visible to the user. Note, if a user changes the sort order, the filter does not separate pinned courses from other courses based on sort order, filters, or search terms. The course starts message now includes a time as well as a date. In addition, the course starts lang term has been updated to opens on, and the course ends lang term has been updated to closed, to better reflect discrepancies between course dates and LMS availability. Daily differentials of Brightspace datasets are now generally available to all new and existing Brightspace Insights and Brightspace Core clients that are not currently using Brightspace datasets. Daily diffs result in smaller and more up-to-date data extracts, allowing you to quickly retrieve the most current data. The previously released Document Conversion Service is now enabled by default. When documents are uploaded to Content Assignments, Brightspace Learning Repository, or Brightspace ePortfolio, the documents are converted to PDFs that display in line in the tool or product, which improves the document viewing experience for users. Instructors can now launch the Manage Exemptions page from Assignments, Discussions, and Quizzes. From Assignments, instructors can now launch the Manage Exemptions page from the Assignment Submission Folders page in the context menu of an Assignment folder, and on the Assignments page as the button at the top of the page. From Discussions, instructors can now launch the Manage Exemptions page from the context menu of a topic, on the View Topic page in the context menu beside the topic name, and the Assess Topic page as a button at the top of the page. From Quizzes, instructors can now launch the Manage Exemptions page from the Manage Quizzes page in the context menu of a quiz, and on the Grade Quiz page as a button at the top of the page. The HTML editor has been updated to include expanded image editing capabilities for the WYSIWYG editor. This update is currently unavailable for lessons or the quizzing experience. Users can now edit images in place, including flipping, rotating, adjusting brightness, sharpness, and color, 
editing the size, or adding a description. Users with access to Manage Files can save image edits to the Manage Files area, while users without access to Manage Files can save images as attachments. You can use the new D2L, Languages, Terminology, Learning Outcomes configuration variable to set which language term is used in lessons to describe learning outcomes. Options for the variable include standards, competencies, expectations, objectives, and outcomes. If your organization locale is set to a supported language, translated options are available. The designated variable will appear at the top of the lessons page. You can now define a preferred first and last name using the Manage Users tool. This feature implements PI item D289. From the Manage Users tool, locate the user whose name you want to update and click the context menu. Then, select Edit User Information. You can now enter a preferred first name or preferred last name. Instructors have new ways to search question library when adding questions to a quiz using new question import workflows. Now, when you import questions to a quiz from question library, you can search or browse for questions by specifying the source, type of question, or how you want the questions sorted. Instructors can now insert a quick link to self-enrolling groups, which provides learners a direct path to sign up for their group and a new group self-enrollment screen. This feature implements PI item D316. When instructors create a quick link in Brightspace Learning Environment, they can select the new self-enrollment groups option. Then, choose the group they want to insert. When published to a course, learners can click the quick link to directly access the group selection page. Learners are directed to a new group self-enrollment screen. Instructors can now add due dates to quizzes, which allows them to better communicate when quizzes are due and better identify when a learner submits a quiz late. From the Restrictions tab in a quiz, instructors can now set the date and time that a quiz is due. This change impacts when quizzes are marked as late. Quizzes submitted after the due date are labeled Submitted Late. Quizzes submitted after the time limit is reached are now labeled as Exceeded Time Limit.